Hi and welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another podcast video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at the biggest headlines, the ones that I think are most important for people to be aware of. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, select in all the notifications so you never miss a video. Right, let's get down to the desktop. Okay, so we're going to start here and uh, we've got the EU Parliament approves crypto licensing funds transfer rules. And uh, this is rather interesting. And I have said a few times that I expect there to be uh, a lot of um, moving parts when it comes to regulation. I've talked about the fact that we should be aware of um, risk and we should be uh, treating regulation or future regulation within crypto as a risk and we should be asking the projects that we want to invest in or have invested in what their mitigations are for you know the upcoming regulation landscape and uh, I think one of the risks that you know uh, exchanges have is uh, know your customer and this is basically what this is all about lawmakers in the EU on Thursday voted 517 to 38 in favor of the new crypto licensing regime um making it the first i guess jurisdiction in the world to introduce comprehensive crypto law and basically this is to to make sure that uh, exchanges um you know uh, basically provide um details of um the, the customers right so this is all around like kyc and all that sort of uh, wonderful stuff so i think we are going to start to see some exchanges um you know basically enforcing kyc uh, this is something that you know is is coming it's something that you should be aware of and it's going to be something that a few people don't really want to to happen and uh, why is that because they don't want to pay tax um and and so forth right and uh they will label it all up i don't really want my stuff to be public but they have a bank account and they have id and all that sort of stuff so it's good when it suits but it's not good when you need to potentially pay tax on it i guess you know i'm filling in some blanks here i'm probably going to upset a few people i apologize it's just my uh true and honest opinion on you know, what i see in the space um we've got the ceo of the collapsed turkish crypto exchange um arrested in istanbul again i think uh this is something that we're seeing quite a lot at the moment we're seeing uh duquan being arrested uh sam bankman fried was arrested uh, and now this scumbag so um basically you can scam but you can't hide is probably the message that is uh being shared here and uh basically what i would say is uh this is really because it, it was more of a fraud. At least that's my understanding. Um, they fled to, to Albania um, and basically they just pulled all of the me uh, members uh, of the exchange's money uh, and did a runner. So um, great to see that they've been uh, caught now. At least the CEO has been caught. Uh, really excited to see what happens next. I think that there needs to be severe punishment in order for you know scams to to be eradicated from you know every space right there needs to be a consequence that is so severe that you don't commit the crime and you see this in parts of the world where you can leave your mobile phone you could leave a you know a, a very expensive luxury watch uh, on the side in a shopping center and no one will take it no one would steal that they would leave it. Why? Because the punishment is beyond severe. And I think that's what we need. It sounds crazy to, to many people in this, uh, I, I'm going to say it, woke uh, landscape world where everybody is, you know, too afraid to upset somebody and, uh, you know, their feelings uh, and, and stuff like that. And um, it's part of the reason why, in my opinion, we've got a lot of the issues that we've got. The size of the hacks that are happening is because the, the consequences are either non-existent or are, are just not severe enough. I, I really do believe that if you sort out the uh, consequence and make it severe, that you won't get half the amount of crime that you get in the world 
Uh, I'm trying to keep it related to crypto and hacks is the way that I do that. So yeah, look, let me know your thoughts and opinions on all that sort of stuff. Uh, we've got bankrupt crypto lender Voyager finally seals Fed deal for $1 billion Binance US acquisition. Dissolvent crypto lender Voyager has struck the deal with the US federal government, allowing it to sell its assets to Binance.us. Um, look, it is rather interesting because there has been a, a quite clear agenda against Binance. Uh, clear they can't find anything because if they could find something that was legitimate, then they wouldn't allow this to happen. And they were pushing against this. So seeing this actually go through should be a, a pro, um, I guess, view of, of Binance, in my opinion. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Russia plans to mine crypto for cross-border deals, says the, their central bank. The international sanctions have uh, been imposed on the country to exclude it from the US dollar powered global payment infrastructure. And basically, um, Russia, uh, the Bank of Russia is working on a bill that will introduce experimental legal regime for cryptocurrency to be used exclusively in export import deals. So look, there's, um, there, there is a big deal going on at the moment. And uh, that is that, you know, different countries around the world are looking to move away from the dollar. And um, look, you know, you've even got people out there, ex-CTO uh, of Coinbase, saying that Bitcoin's going to go on this monstrous run to like over a million dollars in 90 days. Uh, and really, this is what they're citing as uh, what's going to happen is the US dollar is going to collapse. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's quick, short, punchy roundup. If you did, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. Jump in the Discord, have some more meaningful conversations with us. We'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.